my name is Emily Orr, and welcome to How to Ride a Horse. First, I'm going to explain your materials. First, you need breeches or long jeans, and breeches, they are just English riding, and they have these pads so you don't get sores on the inside of your legs. You need your tack, which consists of your saddle, your saddle blanket, and your bridle. Next, you probably need an old t-shirt or one you don't really care about that you can get dirty, ripped, <laughs> or mud smeared. Next, you need an open space like over here, or in your pin, or in a round pin, which is for the horse, Callie. You need hard-soled shoes, and you need a helmet, a jacket, an old grocery bag, a change of shoes, a hair tie, which I have on right now, so you can't see it, sorry, and water to drink. You also might want to bring treats for your horse, and a stool, which I have in my round pin right now. Also part of your materials are your curry comb, your soft brush, and your hoof pick to help you groom your horse. This is my horse, Callie, and we're going to start grooming her. Before you ride, you always have to groom your horse to make sure they don't have mud or dirt under their coat because it can give them sores. This is your curry comb. Your curry comb, you move in big circular motions in the direction of their fur that when their fur legs. It just rubs the dirt and the hair right off and brings it to up to the top of the coat so you can easily just wipe it off. Oh. And as you can see, you just make it big circular motions. And you really don't want to use a curry comb on their legs because their legs are very sensitive. And when you walk around the back of a horse, put one hand on their rump and just walk around. And when you groom, make sure you kind of flip up their mane or hold it so you can get under it because it's very important. And then when you're done, just put back over. Your soft brush. Your soft brush is a soft brush. And when you use it, after you use your curry comb, you go across the coat and you flick the dirt off. It's important you flick or the, or the dirt will stay off. And with the soft brush, you can go down their legs and get mud and dirt off. And when you're, when you're riding, when you put on a saddle, your girth goes right here. So you want to make sure this area is clear of dirt. Okay. Now that we are finished with our soft brush, you just, if there's excess hair or dirt, you can just brush it off if you're outside. Next, you have your hoof pick. Okay, now your hoof pick. Obviously, as it says in its name, it's going to pick out their feet. When you're picking up a horse's feet, run your hand down their leg and they have a little chest. They have a little kind of, it looks like a sore, but it's not and it's called a chest. Hair. And you just run down their leg and put your hand under the top of their hoof. And you can just dig up dirt. Now, which I will show you here in a second, Horses have a very sensitive part of their hoof, and it is called the frog. And I will show you here just in one moment. What the frog looks like. The frog, and the horse will try to pull their hoofs out. So, here, I'm tracing it right here. It looks like a really pointy triangle, and it's called the frog. It is the most sensitive part of the hoof. If you touch it, it's not going to matter. But if you dig in with your with your hoof pick and really dig in there, you're going to hurt your horse and your horse could become lame. Also, when you're dropping down their foot, carefully do that so you don't just drop it because you can break the tip of their hoof. Okay. That is the end of our grooming. Now we're going to go on to tack. Before, I'm going over your tack. Here's your saddle pad, and this goes right over their back. Right up, make sure you have it over their withers. 
Now saddles are heavy. Usually Western saddles are heavier, which have a horn. But this is an English saddle. Now you want to make sure all straps are out from under your horse. Now this is the girth. Now it's going to go under the saddle like that. Okay. Now the girth goes under your horse. Make sure it's not up in their armpit where it can irritate them. So you want to make sure it's like right about here in their girth area. Oops, so good. Then you lift up the saddle, hey. and hey, you pull up. <laughs> hey, on the saddle, and it's kind of like a belt, but a little bit harder to put together. You put the saddle buckles on the first and third strap. Don't you dare. Some want to make sure your saddle isn't too tight, which mine's not. Now, these are called your stirrups. Now that you have your saddle on, these are called your reins, and this is your bridle. This is the bit which goes in their mouth, and here's your chin strap and brow band. The horse's ears go through these two pieces. Then you just kind of fit their ears through here, and there you go. All right. I'll show you how to put on their chin strap. Their chin strap is right here, and it goes under their chin, obviously, hence the name. You put the chin strap, it's kind of just like a mini buckle. So if I move this way, girl, I'll show you. <laughs> so, and you want to have four fingers fitting in between you and chin strap. So I'm going to put it on the second one to make sure it's not too tight. Okay. And there you are. There's how you put on your bridle. Now you take the reins and you just go over their ears. Thank you. You're very helpful. She put her head down for me. And there, here is your fully tacked horse. With your bridle, your saddle, and your saddle pack. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to ride. I'll show you how to mount the horse. Now, to run down the stripes, you pull up on this top piece, pull it down, go. Now, since my horse is so tall, I can't mount from here, so I use a substitute. Put your left foot in your left stirrup. Go up. Over. Oh, girl. <laughs> Sorry. And then you put your right foot in your right stirrup. Oh. Now I'm on my full attack horse, and now I'm going to show you how to ride. When you're stopping, you want to go forward. And when you want to stop, you pull back on the reins, say, ho. Now to go, you just barely tap the side, their sides, and you kind of just swing around with your stirrups. And here I'll show you say ho again. Ho! And that's how to stop. Now to go right, you just take your left hand, I mean your right hand, sorry, ho, and you pull. change direction. Ho! You pull with your bow. Your left hand. With your left. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to dismount. You grab a hold at the top of your rein, put your right foot over and down, and then you step down with your right foot, have a hold, and then get your left foot out. 
The next important step is to run up your girth. I'm going to show you how to take off the girth. You pull up the leather strap. You usually want to unbuckle the first one first, and then you just pull up till it snaps. And then the next one, you pull, and it comes down, and it just swings off. So. And it's important to put your girth over top of your saddle so your horse isn't feeling the discomfort when you're taking off your saddle. Next, pull your saddle off, and you still have your saddle pad on. Take off your saddle pad, kind of shake it off, and it's all sweaty inside, so you hang it upside down over your saddle. Now, you get your grooming tools back. You just need one, your soft brush, and you just go over her coat where her saddle and her girth has been. Because dirt collects there and there's also sweat, so it's important to get those off. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take off their bridle. Now, to take off your chin strap, you just pull up like a belt and get it off. Then you pull it over and let go, just let it drop. And then you have your bridle. And next step is to let your horse go because you're finished riding. Just give me a moment, I will unlock the gate. And it's easier if you lead them out so they don't get hurt. Hey.